Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, now we are in chapter 2, DC machines. Okay, we have uh, browsed or we have uh, gone through the introduction on the basic or the basic concept of the different machines. Now we focus more on the DC machines. Okay, within this chapter, you will learn how the DC machine in term in term of construction. So the basic and the basic principles of the DC machine, DC motor especially, and types of available motor, the equivalent circuit of the motor, and we shall analyze in term of the DC motor for the separately excited DC motor, shunt type, permanent magnet type, uh, series type, and also the compounded motor uh, type. Okay. Okay, we'll divide DC machine into a few uh, sections. One is on the DC motor and then we repeat the same uh, analysis on the DC generator then we focus individually on the losses that incorporate into the uh, generator and motor. Okay, if you have a look on the construction of the DC machine itself, we shall see that the DC machine is construct of two parts which is one is uh, stator stator means the whole parts that contain the uh, non-movable parts and the one is armature or rotor and you can mention or you can imagine arm our arm we can move our arm or we can rotate and the component is so called rotor so this is rotor or, or armature meanwhile this is your stator and static field so this part we cannot move so it, it refer to the auto frame of the machine and it makes out of ferromagnetic materials we have a limited iron uh, here a limited iron ferromagnetic constructed not in solid uh, type but it's emitted from the slice of ferromagnetic metals materials same goes to the rotor part it's made of the uh, ferromagnetic material as well and we have here so this if we take a front view of the motor so this is our rotor we can rotate in the middle of the construction meanwhile the outer part here is the stator um, stator so another term is that we have a field winding so field winding is the windings that we have in the stator poles so this is stator so this is the field winding some motor we don't have field windings because we have a magnetic permanent magnet as a field so this we assume this is a permanent magnet so we create north and south pole from the permanent magnet so we don't have any external windings for the field but for this part we have a stator poles and we put a coil to make it as north and south pole so we have a field winding another winding is on the uh, rotor itself so we call it armature winding it composed of coils placed in the armature slot so this is armature winding on the armature slots we have rotor here so in the between of the metal we put a hole to have a windings on the slot so in 3d you can see that the armature windings is placed in between the slot of the rotor then we have commutator to commute it between uh, external uh, circuit to the internal armature windings we have to have a commutator and to commute it so it will alternately connect and disconnect between this left and right and commutator so to connect between the wires 
and the commutator we have to put a brush so the brush will be the interconnection between commutator and external source winding external source uh, uh, DC source okay that's for construction of your uh, DC motor so as per stated in the slide so this is the construction of uh, stator part meanwhile this is your rotor part you can see there here we have a not uh, we have so many slots and the rotor part we have so many slots the purpose is that to assist a smooth commutation and rotation of the uh, rotor itself and so the complete integration between uh, the motor and the rotor and the stator so basically we have this system when we firstly introduced into the market or into the field engineering uh, the first engineered motor was a dc so but when we have a, because why dc is so preferable at that time and because the motor itself is very easy to control and at that time the source is only available from the DC source but when uh, after 1890s and when the AC system was introduced so the AC motor seems like they overwhelming and they overcome the application and the advantage of uh, DC power system uh, but now we still have a DC uh, motor and application in the market because why because in vehicle itself the power source is from battery and uh, from battery so and the from the other point DC motor is the most compact uh, DC in the market can provide a very high torque at the starting part starting point and also it was easy for control because for other kind of motor we have to put another kind of uh, device or in the kind of uh, apparatus to provide control to the motor uh, like for AC motor we have to put inverter in front of the motor so it involves cost but in terms of DC we just vary the input uh, voltage so we can control linearly on the speed of the motor so also we have some more application where DC motor are preferred such as in our aircraft locomotive uh, traction device uh, so DC motor is still preferable and in terms of uh, performance and uh, performance of uh, DC motor we compare them based on uh, series uh, sorry on the speed regulation we measure in terms of speed regulation uh, the more load we put in and how how much the speed reduce so if the speed not much reduced based on the load that we put in from minimum load up to maximum load so means that the the motor is good motor so it just reduce in terms of fraction in terms of the speed so the best motor or the Ideal motor is that the speed will not will not reduce even though we put the load up to the maximum load. It means that if you have a you are able to characterize the motor and and we perform the speed test on the motor. So we increase the speed. Speed we put the load the load and we put the uh, the load means the top so at minimum top or minimum uh, load the top is like this or the speed maintain uh, sorry this is the speed this is your IA okay the speed at minimum current is still at certain point and at maximum current or maximum load I full load is still maintain the same so the difference between your maximum and minimum this is your 
SR. So if your SR is too much deviate, so means that your motor is not good. Huh? Okay. So this is so called positive uh, regulation. Uh, positive speed regulation. Meanwhile, if your trend will be like this, so this should be, or it's called a negative speed regulation. So this speed regulation will determine or will assume as the performance indicator for certain certain motor. Should be not less than or should not deviate more than ten percent. Uh, the speed regulation should be less than ten percent. Indicate that the motor is a good motor. Then we will go to the different of motor that available in the market. First, we are going to learn about the separately excited DC motor. Means that we have a motor and we have a source whereby we have a VT provide to the motor and we have a fill and a fill to the motor which is provided by another source so this is separate excited DC motor and we have another one of shunt DC motor we have the motor and the fill terminal and also the motor terminal share the same source so here we have VT and VF now VT and VF all together and we have permanent magnet DC motor which is we have fill here R F and we have motor with its own permanent magnet north and south so this is permanent DC motor we have series DC motor and series DC motor so I put that we have the fill and the terminal share the same uh, the fill and the motor will share the same terminal in series this one in parallel you see the parallel so shun this one in series another one we have a compounded DC motor means that it compound it combined we have in series and also in parallel okay either in positive uh, increment or decrement compound so we we'll take a look on that later so this one indicate in the circuit or schematic we indicate what actually the types of DC motor arrangement we have now available in the market or in our discussion. Okay, when we take a look at individual uh, DC motor before we analyze the motor, we shall do a simplified equivalent circuit, perform simplified equivalent circuit to eliminate some parts that are not so uh, which is preferably we just omit or we just uh, lump to the together to another uh, parameters so that the calculation will be much easier to obtain and solve so usually we have uh, for equivalent DC motor we have a terminal voltage which comes from terminal this is referring to the uh, separately excited DC motor okay we have terminal voltage here it comes to the motor armature uh, SIA I armature so it comes to the armature we have armature resistance inductance and also the coil has uh, series resistance and so we have brush uh, drop voltage and for the field we have adjustable uh, field resistance we have RF LF here but we prefer to lump them together so that we can easily calculate uh, the equation or simplified equivalent circuit eliminating the brush and voltage drop also we combine R adjustable into field resistance 